Right, this is Moritz from mobilegrowthstack.com and feature.com mobile graph consultancy. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you the Google Play Store spreadsheet that we created and we, that we use with uh, mm -hmm. some of our clients to do app store optimization for the Google Play Store. So the first thing you have to do to actually make use of this is to copy it to your own Google Drive. I'm going to show you how. Just make a copy here and call it whatever your app is called. I'm um, going to close that so I can now start editing the, the Google spreadsheet that was copied. Today I'm going to show you um, how I would optimize the elements of, of the Google Play Store for an app called Guitar Plus. Um, they have an app where you can learn to play the guitar step by step. Uh, they have 10 to 15 million downloads. As you can see here, so that's quite substantial, so they must be doing something good. But we're going to see if we can do anything a little bit more with their, with their keywords. Alright, um, so basically you can just remove this now since you copy it to your own drive. Um, and then you can insert your Google Play URL. So I'm going to insert uh, this for Ruby Cell of the perfect guitar now. Um, as you can see, it pulls in all the data for, for the, the icon and all the, the the Play Store elements, title, short description, developer name, and the description. Um, if you don't have an app just yet, but have uh, an app upcoming, then you can actually just skip step two and just start uh, filling in your um, your first title and short description developer name and description in, into the new fields. All right, so every of these elements um, has a different length, uh, maximum length. So the title can be maximum 30 characters long, the short description maximum 80 characters, and so on. Um, they also have different weightings. That's common knowledge. If you put something in the title, you will rank higher for that certain keyword or that keyword phrase than when you put it in your description. We try to give a weighting factor to that. That's pretty arbitrary. Uh, well, let me change that. That's pretty arbitrary. You can, if you have a different different feel with that, then you go with something else. We found that this is working pretty well to build a strategy around. So what it does is basically it checks for every of your keywords that you have in your description, developer name, short description and title, how often it appears, and then multiplies that by a certain weight factor. So the weight factor for a keyword in your description, we give that a one, a keyword in your developer name, three, um, the keyword in your short description is multiplied by four times to get to a weighting score and then the title by six. As, as I said, you can, you can change that if you, uh, if you have a different, different fe feeling about that. Um, you can also configure stop words that are, aren't relevant to the Google search algorithm, like keywords like uh, although, uh, the, a, etc. Um, these keywords aren't used in kind of uh, search searches and aren't taken into account so much. They are taken into account a little bit, but not a lot by the by the by the Google algorithm. Um, what I also do is so now we were looking at uh, one keyword phrases such as uh, guitar, app, etc. But you can also, um, with this spreadsheet, look at two keyword phrases. And those keyword, two keyword phrases show up here, for example, perfect guitar, and they are multiplied by four because an exact match in the Google um, uh, Play Store search, uh, if you have an exact match in, in one of your uh, elements, chances are you will show up even more. So a multiplier of four for things that, um, uh, for phrases that have two keywords in them. All right, here's some optional stuff you, you can also do, and we'll, we'll dive into that actually in, in a second. But first I wanted to show you here, um, here it lists all your keywords and two keyword phrases. Um, I think we, yeah, we came down to around 250 for, for this particular app. 
So it sorts it automatically by the weighting that we give to it. Um, it adds a weight score. So the more keywords, the longer your description is, the less weight score a certain uh, keyword has because um, it, it doesn't appear as much relatively to, to the long description or the long, yeah, the long description that you have. So the less keywords you use, the more weighting goes to a certain keyword. So the weight score is, is really important to, to keep in, in, in mind. Then the number of occurrences that it appears in your description. So in, uh, in our case now, the word guitar is uh, repeated eight, 13 times in the description, which I guess makes sense since it's really the, the core value prop of the, or the core value of the, the app that it actually is a guitar learning app. Um, yeah, as you can see here, there's also density of, of the keywords there. Um, and then you see here the waiting and description after, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit as well. As you can see, this is pretty empty, rank. Um, you have to, would have to pull that from one of the keyword tracking tools that you use. Today I'm going to use AppTweak um, to do this. So basically I, I imported all the keywords uh, from here, you can see here, um, into, um, into AppTweak um, and pulled there. Their rank, as you can see, some of so some of them are not ranked, but for some of these keywords, we actually do rank. Um, I downloaded the Excel sheet that um, that AppTweak generated, um, and then basically in the, the spreadsheet that I'm using, you only want to have the keywords and then the current rank, which is uh, in in AppTweak's format. It's it's these two fields that we want to import here in the second second tab. So as you can see here, keyword and ranking. I'm going to paste that here. All right. So if we go back to keyword density, you now see a corresponding rank and also a color coding, whether or not that, yeah, whether or not you actually um, uh, um, rank well for it or not at all if it's white or pretty poorly when it's really somewhere in, in, in this range. Um, there's also the yellow, of course. What you see is the further down, the less weighting your keywords have, um, the less your chance of, of ranking actually for them. And that's an indicator that these weightings aren't, they're, they're, they, they're definitely arbitrary, but this, this shows that they do have some um, um, some logic to them, right? So the, the the higher up in the weighting hierarchy, the better it is. All right. Um, so before we gonna change things around in our um, in our description and our short description, we want to know what people are actually looking for in in the, in the Google Play Store. Now you can use. Tools like Mobile Action and, and AppTweak to get to volume estimations, um, search scores, and, and traffic scores. But what I feel it works better for me, and where I have a better feeling with the um, with the yeah the data set from, is actually the Google Play Store itself. So they show already high or keywords that are often searched for they show in all I suggest. Unfortunately, you can't pull uh, keyword volumes from Google Play itself. So that's why all these tools are trying to come up with a search score. Um, but those search scores are often derived from, from Google, uh, Google searches, which on, on the web, which is of course a different type of searches. So if you're searching for an app, then um, uh, you wouldn't search for a plumber app, for example, whereas on the web you would often search for a plumber if you need a plumber to um, to fix your plumbing. But uh, on the app store you wouldn't, uh, or the Play Store you wouldn't search for that. So the the web web data isn't isn't too useful, and a lot of the tools are actually using that web data. And no, none of the tools actually does have access to the real data. So this is why I. Um, I also definitely like, basically as, as my first um, volume indicator for a certain keyword or phrase is other suggestions. 
And this is an example of an auto-suggested search. Uh, so if you type in language, then these five suggestions could, could show up. And I give them position one to five. Let's, let's try this out. So I am now set to the US Play Store um, for the English US as, as, as my lang device language. And this idea actually came from uh, Sebastian Knapp, um, who, um, who created this tool on AppKeywords.net. Great, great tool to check out. They also have um, trending, trending searches from the from the App Store. How much, how often, how, how many hours a certain keyword has trended in the last week, which is really cool. Um, what I do is I give it a fill auto fill score, so something that shows up right on this specific keyword in one of these five positions gets a really high rate weighting um, something that shows up with the keyword and a space um, gets uh, a lot less weighting and a keyword and a space and a one of the um, characters of the al alphabet um, uh, gets only a weighting of one and yeah so in total these are 28 uh, queries that we're going to fire to Google all at once, basically, uh, to see what, what shows up. Um, let me, for example, type in learn guitar here. Of course, it takes a little while to, to get that data. But as you can see, of the 28, uh, 28 queries that we fired, these are the other suggestions that showed up. So I searched for learn guitar plus something, and these are the search terms that, that showed up. Now, for example, for Learn Guitar for Beginner, um, that showed up uh, when I was looking for a Learn Guitar in position one of five, right? So high up here, a lot of search, search volume, um, Learn Guitar with a space, it also showed up, Learn Guitar with a B, it showed up because it's a beginner, and Learn Guitar with a F, it showed up um, as well. Uh, also because of the, the four for beginner. So that accumulates the uh, autofill score of this. Of course, this is super arbitrary, but it kind of sorts the table for you and gives you a feeling of what, what people are looking for uh, and so on. So what we see here, I, I think, is learn guitar chords is something that, that and, and beginner um, uh, is something that is super relevant to to our, uh, our app, uh, get our learning app. So that might be things that we wanna uh, incorporate in, in a upgrade of, of their description. So um, we could do something like learn guitar chords. Maybe that doesn't incorporate the full functionality of the Guitar Plus app, so I have to check that with the app itself. I didn't, didn't download it, didn't check it out yet, but um, I have the feeling this, this could be relevant to them. Um, and it's still within the 30 characters. Um, and we can also do this. So I don't think people are looking for perfect guitar. I think <clears throat> uh, we could do something, something more with the uh, learn. <clears throat> Uh, learning guitar for beginners. Beginners with the best virtual guitar for Androids. And that's 82 characters. And we might remove for Androids. Let me see. Anyway, we should be in the in the safe with the number of characters now. 70. And same goes for Let's say that's this thing, learn to play guitar chords, step by step. Um, lefty guitar beginners, whatever. If that is something that we really wanna rank for, if that's, that's our, if our app is really relevant for that, <clears throat> then those are the things that we wanna have in our uh, description as well. All right, as you can see here, guitar beginners, guitar chords, somebody has this, this way higher weighting. As you can see here, we ranked previously one, uh, 156 for this um, search phrase. And the idea is now that if we're gonna 
port this over to, to Google Play that we're going to track the ranking of guitar ports and hopefully um, and maybe also one of these search suggestions so learn guitar ports um, which shows, shows up really high and then uh, check basically three to four months uh, four weeks down the line to see if, if something has improved uh, based on, on the new strategy that, that we executed and of course this Running uh, with a with a, a, a new Play Store strategy is, is something that takes way longer than this um, um, than this video. Um, you will have to do a lot of keyword research, but this at least gives you an idea of how you could how you could go about that to uh, yeah to to make your app more more discoverable. All right, that was it for today. I hope this helped you and uh, yeah. Uh, check out uh, check out our other apps optimization articles on, on mobile graph stack as well um, if this was useful for you thanks <laughs>